warm welcome to all TVET lecturers. I'm Amanda Skinner from Macmillan, and I'm going to tell you about the new subject, Plant and Animal Production N5, that has been introduced into the NATED Farming Management Program. This new curriculum will be implemented in July 2023 for the first time. Lecturers and students will need new textbooks that they can trust to teach the correct content and help students to achieve their best marks. We recommend TVET First's Plant and Animal Production Students Book and Lecturer's Guide, approved by the DHET. The logo, New Curriculum 2023, tells you that this book covers the 2023 curriculum in full. Later in this video, I will demonstrate how the TVET First books will help you implement the new curriculum with ease. But now, let's focus on the curriculum itself. There are three modules in the Plant and Animal Production Syllabus, and they have equal weighting. Module 1 deals with soils and their components, and has eight learning objectives. Five of these cover the basic aspects of atoms, molecules, ions, elements, compounds, mixtures, and radicals. One learning objective deals with the changes of state, particularly evaporation and condensation. The remaining two objectives are about relative humidity, transpiration, and diffusion. Students are to conduct simple experiments, but won't be handling concentrated acids or very hazardous chemicals. No calculations are required, although the students need to measure dew point and relative humidity. The periodic table is also not required. Module 2 covers plant production principles. The content is specified in 23 learning objectives. The students start by learning about the characteristics of good cultivars. The range of cultivars include fruit trees, agronomic crops, and trees suitable for agroforestry. The module also covers a broad spectrum of relevant practical information, such as soil preparation, fertilizers, row spacing, irrigation, and harvesting. The students learn how to identify suitable rootstocks, scions, seeds, and seedlings for reproduction. Module 2 also looks at pest control and preventive measures, including biological, chemical, and physical control. This is followed by learning content on fruit maturity, harvesting, post-harvest treatment, and the storage of crops. Module 2 closes with crop rotation, mulching, and an introduction to hydroponics. The N5 course specifies sheep and pig farming. The final module, Module 3, has 44 learning objectives. The three main themes of Module 3 are animal anatomy and physiology, sheep production, and pig production. The curriculum covers sheep and pig production in particular detail. The students don't need to learn biochemical details. However, they must be able to identify the main organs of sheep and pigs as seen in diagrams, photos and carcasses. Students must also describe the basic functioning of the animal's various body systems in stress situations. Sheep production is covered in detail. Students study the different breeds of sheep that are suitable for South African conditions. The module discusses their feeding methods, rations, and nutritional requirements. Students also learn about grazing systems, grazing habits, and camps for sheep, and the climatic conditions suitable for sheep production. The module also covers sheep transportation, markets, diseases, and parasites, breeding and growth stages, and handling sheep under difficult circumstances. Pig production has four main themes. These are different breeds and their housing, feeding methods, breeding principles, and the control and treatment of diseases and parasites.
The 2023 curriculum prescribes a semester mark and an examination mark. The semester mark consists of a one-hour written test for 70 marks, an open book practical assignment for 100 marks, and a two-hour internal examination for 130 marks. The total of 300 marks makes up 40% of the promotion mark. The three-hour external examination, counting 200 marks, contributes the other 60% of the promotion mark. We invite you to choose TVET First approved textbooks for plant and animal production N5. The student's book covers the whole curriculum in a way that is perfectly suited to farming in South Africa. It gives students lots of practical activities, real life examples and useful advice. The student's book includes diagrams, video links, as well as many photographs to help the students to identify felt types, feeding methods, diseases and other concepts. The language is simple and straightforward with clear explanations of terms. There are module overviews and starter activities to generate interest at the start of each module. The book also includes summaries and summative assessments for every module to ensure that students can prepare well for tests and exams. The accompanying lecturer's guide is an excellent resource for lecturers. It has detailed solutions to all activities and assessments in the textbook. There is also a practice exam accompanied by a full memo to ensure students are ready for the final examination. It also has an overview of the learning objectives so that you can create your own six month teaching plan. The lecturer's guide also has photocopyable lesson templates to help you draw up individual lesson plans. TVET First textbooks are approved by the DHET and trusted by lecturers. For the best results, Trust TVET first. We wish you all the success with this exciting new subject.